right guys time to discover tree and protector here's what i know about him so far he hides in trees he puts those hunter sentinels from wc3 on trees they don't look the same they look like a little swirl from the from a wisp gathering effect of wc3 and they give vision he can walk through trees and i actually don't know what else he does but chat just told me that he hits the hardest among all heroes at level 1 91 damage well, i don't know much about what he does oh he does a, a line of damage that when you walk over it you take damage and he gets slowed and he hits like a tree oh nice one <laughs> okay nature's grasp yeah i've played against this quite a bit creates vines towards the target location vines slow down and deal damage to enemies that walk through it vines deal more damage when they hit a tree does half damage to creeps so these are empowered are all vines now touching a tree does just one tippy toe of the nature's grasp have to touch a tree in order to uh, count as it so now he's gonna take eight ah 11 yeah okay and this one does 16 okay i see tree and protector and timbers all seem like appropriate adversaries damage per second goes up movement slow goes up vine duration goes up the vines glow when empowered you know what i saw them glowing and i was wondering is it could it be and it could be indeed it could be very nice man they think of everything treant plants a life sapping seed in an enemy unit draining its health while simultaneously slowing it the seed heals friendly units around it okay okay the seed that's interesting in an enemy unit and it heals friendly units around it weird but interesting leech seed yeah that's pretty cool that's a cool ability i've never heard or seen anything like it and then living armor ah uh, that's the heal over time okay so i thought of him a lot as a soloer i think i've seen him do soloing in pro games being the one on the side lane everyone's spending a lot of effort doing cliff wards trying to find him he's hiding in the trees he's a split pusher he is global he is global what and so he works as mule it works on towers that is disgusting plus 12 armor and heal oh my god i'm gonna love this hero oh that's so annoying for opponents just spam e on towers i hope there's talents that improve this ability in particular a big f you to finishing the game early slowing down games that are hopelessly lost drawing out games to two hours yeah tilting opponents out of their mind that's what i'm looking forward to nature's guys provides treant with tree walking whenever he hasn't taken damage for three seconds okay while active treant gains movement speed bonus and amplified healing and regen on himself you know what i've almost never seen this i actually don't remember ever seeing this but i've seen this dozens of times do they just not join an ult i don't know you saw it once but i don't remember seeing it spam cancel for sick beat pretty good break dancing too <laughs> uh deal damage to afflicted enemies and prevent them from moving blinking going invisible or attacking okay okay it's a leash a leash a reveal and a disarm five seconds 75 radius 800 It's kind of like a budget ravage. Oh, no. 
Scepter! Eyes in the forest. Tree and Protector enchants a tree. Oh, that's a shard. Uh huh. Wait, why were we in this? Tree and Protector enchants a tree, which grants him unobstructed vision in that location. If overgrowth is cast, units within a radius of an enchanted tree will be entangled and damaged if overgrowth is cast. Oh! No! You can overgrowth the whole map. Yes! We can make the map like a neglected ruin. A map of glory days gone by, long deserted. Yes, no yes. people anymore. We just grow vines through dilapidated buildings and ruins and broken windows, and then we overgrowth it all. No one can hide. Being entangled by overgrowth through enchanted trees from high in the forest does damage. If the enemy has true sight, they'll be able to see which trees are enchanted. And what is the uh, shard? Nature's Guise causes trees to move faster and become invisible with Nature's Guise. And roots enemies upon attacking. Deals damage over time and roots for longer if the attack was near a tree. I what? I will. How about a stroll? What was that sound? What was that sound? Dude, that was epic. Did he actually ask what that sound was? His shard used to be his old Q, he was an excellent lane bully. I don't know what that means, his old Q. Oh, okay. His shard was his old Q. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah, that, that seems really good. All right, let's check out talents. Nature's grasp cooldown. Okay, more Q, 17 to 12. Living armor heal per second. Going from six to eight. Well, I said I was gonna improve living armor, so uh, hell yeah. Nature's grasp damage. Okay, I can kind of see how this might be better for farming. But uh, more two Keklal. I mean, two is so bad. If two is bad, then why is six not, why is six good? Two times 30, 60 extra heal. You go from 120 to 180 heal. What? Duration and cooldown. Oh, you can keep two targets up the whole game. Leech seed movement slow. Their slow is 26 and it can become 41. Nature's grasp damage, 30. Going from 60 to 90 DPS. Okay, I can definitely see some strong synergy here. Living armor bonus armor. Mmm. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these are the two farming items. Then leech seed damage and heal 40. Wow, from 64 to 104, huh? Overgrowth undispellable. Ah. Oh. Or four, 405 AOE living armor. Hell no. Okay. I would say this will be nice, but I'm actually thinking it's probably this one. One, 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 two. And I would play him as position three, but I could see him as four or five, and then we really go for the full living armor memes. Ha ha, chat! See? Overgrowth undispellable! Uh, I have the polar opposite. Of Tortoise, one, 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 two. But I was thinking as a core. But he's not played as core. He's only played as support. Makes sense with all the heals. Nobody dispels overgrowth anyways. Let's check trends. Okay. In Herald. Where we were. The AoE. The damage. The damage. And the cooldown. Then, on the, in Guardian, 
it switches to uh, undispellable, then back to AoE armor, and in Immortal, it's 26% higher win rate with AoE living armor. What? And it picked less. So he would be a higher win rate if everyone just knew you should go for the AoE. Items. Meteor Hammer. What? Are we Meteor Hammering from the bushes? Scepter Refresher. No trees on mid. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Holy locket. Ah, uh, amplifies heals. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. I get it. That's Bane. Uh, I'm just, I'll just go five. We'll have Bane four with uh, Jakiro. Wait, we got three supports. Uh, yeah, just Bane, Jakiro is fine. Jakiro, Jakiro will be three. I wish I could have played Jakiro three when I was Jakiro. It's okay, guys. Whatever we start as, it's fine. We're gonna last hit creeps anyway. We're gonna last hit creeps no matter what. <laughs> Eventually. If we can. Oh, it's so in the bag. All right, cool. I'm excited to try this uh, hero. Oh, we open with nature's craft. Nature's craft. Grasp. Uh, she just wasted Opsuar, didn't she? Actually, I know exactly where you guys placed it. They failed. Somebody missed an auto attack, obviously. Yes, yes. I'm sure you understand. I don't see why not. The battle begins. created just TP I don't need to I suppose. oh my god dude oh man this is so good just walk through trees lol Okay, you can just walk through trees, it's so good. Ooh 
she fast? Not bad last sitting. Oh very well. Oh very well. It takes a very long time I to say anything in Entish. <laughs> He's so funny man. <laughs> they see me rolling. They hating. Nah, -uh. nah, -uh, bro. Oh, did you see that centaur? Yes. 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 What the herald was that? They're slowing me. Yes, yes. On to the next row. Already. Now, now. The wages of fear. In good time. Oops. I believe I will. Now, now. I can't get hooked here. What's his plan with the creeps? This. Yes, yes. My own little private shit show. Can heal the tower. So my E is global, huh? I could have healed allies. I just lost two. Heal with W and chase, yeah. Apologies. <laughs> 
<laughs> I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. Oh, lion left. Regen higher in trees. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's cool. Did you notice he apologizes every time you eat a tree with Tango? No. Help your mate. Oh, he's getting hooked. Bonus armor. Let's go. The pass was actually super helpful. Die, mongrel. Next we'll get boots. The armor and the regen actually kept him alive. So we have higher base regen too, huh? You guys said help your mid. Now there is no one mid. At least we're hitting this pretty hard. By healing. Oh, okay. All right. Sheesh. Gotta be a little clearer with me. Jakiro, Jakiro. Wow, that's... Well, because it's also slow, it didn't work. There's a sentry in the trees. Yeah, I'm leaving it. Give them a false sense of lol. Oops. What the hell? Form it? But obviously they had vision. Why break in this? Did I? Yeah, but no, but it doesn't matter. They had sentry here. There were just four people camping mid for some reason. And I happened to walk in. But you know what I think happened is they have all sentry here. Back to war. I'll protect you. E regen tower mid. Oh yeah. Yep, we can just spam re heal the mid. I believe I will. <laughs> yes. Drow, top left is pretty safe farm for you now if you want. I can hold mid for a bit. Already? A clouding. 
or for Luna. Draw or Luna can be top left. Thirteen armor. Can I get it? No. Just buying time. Did you guys see the career? Oh, very well. Your middle tower is under attack. In good time. Your middle tower is under attack. Yes, Radiant structures yes. are fortified. Fresh I'm under attack. Bane missed? What did he miss? Sniper pulse! <laughs> what did- what did Bane miss? What the herald was that? Sleep ulti combo, okay. Oops. To sun. <laughs> the timing was un unfortunate. Oh, very well. Wow, what is going on now? Yes, yes. <laughs> Four v one, lol. Yes. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't touch any trees? Unlucky, man. What are they doing? They're here like they want to hold hands. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower is under attack. I'll protect you. Don't let him get it. I'll get there. Your middle tower is under attack. No. Huge. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Five people. Still dead though. <laughs> Toxic dude, he paused first after he killed us. Just having a bit of fun. Just having a bit of a giggle. Oh, very well. <laughs> And now we're healing this. Of course. Of course. Oh wait, uh, our cooldown now vastly exceeds the uh, Our cooldown oh. coming back vastly exceeds duration, so I don't need to spam it on the same tower. I can start casting it on two towers at the same time. Or I could save it for Bane. Your 
Ah, oh, we lost our mid tower. Get it? His bark. Because he's a tree. Okay. Your middle tower is under attack. So I, you guys remember me saying that Drow or Luna could farm top left, right? So you'll forgive me for farming this and uh, pushing it out. Use your Q to push wave, yeah. here just rebuild it's okay we got radiant structures we got uh we, we also got a big top push we got 60 percent of their top tower because of my pushing it out that's amazing that's amazing wait i don't need to buy this i i, I just disassemble this your bottom tower is under attack i just saved money Hey, man. Hey, Dandy, what's up? Thanks for the raid. How was it? How was your stream? I'll, I'll give this on loads of armor to delay him. 3-3? Three, three. Ah, not too bad. That's nice. Wow, that did nothing, the armor. Blink dagger. Oh, to get in a good position for my ult. Haste? <laughs> I guess I proved to have the stronger grip. I didn't BM pause. I was just checking to see if Sniper wanted to say something after he uh, after he passed. I thought he was having connection issues. Come on! Oh! Oh no! Don't pause, Sniper. <laughs> No, no. I'll protect you. It's over? No. It's not over. I yeah, I could go blink dagger, then I can root sniper. Your middle tower is under attack. Trees are not so good with motion, though. Pass after kill. Oh, no. Wow. Lucky. <laughs> He's very leveled, man. 17. How is he level 17? It must be a smurf. Yeah, it's a smurf. Come on. Sniper's a hard hero. You can't get good with him so easily. Oh, ho, ha, ha. Uh, yeah. This is one of those situations. They got so lucky. <laughs> Your bottom tower is under attack. Oops. Your bottom tower has fallen. Where is the 
We owned Pudge so hard in lane from start to end. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower is under attack. A fresh sun ray. Yes. I could TP if we think we're gonna own them. I don't think we are. Yes. What's more, they're not even coming bot. CS low. Wow, I'm really good at leaving it at 1%. Now, now. I'll protect you. But look, enemy is just deathballing, it's easy. Now, we just push. Now. You can just split push to win this game. Did you guys see the TV? I didn't see it. Holy shit. You saw it? Damn it. Well, we nearly got it. And we can just keep healing the towers, no problem. Butch is a 9k MMR smurf. Yeah, that, t that, that TP, uh, what's it called? Eating came out of nowhere, obviously. Almost have Link Dagger. Ah, oh, Luna disconnected. He's coming back for sure. Your middle tower is under attack. It's okay. He's too strong. Silver Edge. We need dust. That's good for me, I guess. Get me my money. I need that money. Clarity too? I don't need clarity. Ping, ping, ping. <laughs> Man, now I can't even Philosopher's Stone while I'm dead. Top tower is under attack. Consider shard. Um. Yeah. Your top tower is under yeah, I'll attack. consider it, but I think I need blink first. Your top tower has fallen. Blink dust. On top of uh, sniper. That was good though, right? I think that was fine. Your middle tower Why can't I walk through trees? I there we go. Your middle tower is under attack. Yes, yes. I guess I'll take the broom handle too. Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah, you can ping me all you want, but we're losing our towers if I don't do it. On to the 
Your top tower is under attack. Grub 666. Your top tower is under attack. Your top tower is under attack. I should be Philly Stone. Your top tower is under yeah, I'm not hitting a lot of things anyway. Your top tower is under attack. Your top tower is under attack. So no matter how much armor I put on it, huh? Yeah, care not to get hooked. Just don't get hooked. So what's uh, what's the plan here, boys? Just polymorph sniper, I think. Get about five thousand gold. Blink on sniper. We polymorph him and GG. How did they see me? Worth it. Stalemate breaker. Amateur. This is good. Luna pushed it all the way. I will do a scan for her inside the very cool looking observer ward. I should have scanned here. Luna! You honor me. Well, technically, I can't be critical of that. Can I? For did the same thing not happen to us? Together we can take him down. We can still slow down the game. I feel like Luna gave up, even though the game is going so well. Passive locket. Your middle barracks are under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah. I still think this was a fun tree end game. Your Remember the start? The enemy 
<laughs> They're too strong. They're too strong. Good thing this wasn't ranked. Hell yeah. Your middle tower has fallen. Your ancient is under attack. Bane picked too late, it seems. I mean, this wasn't any one person. It was a bit the draft, and they played well. GG. Wow, you guys don't even read the second part of the sentence. Now come the action. Troll Warlord now. Did you notice the Punch Darkseer combo? Uh, you hook someone through the portal. And then it creates the copies. I liked it. Ion Shell Rod. Uh, lots of damage, lots of slows, right? It's pretty cool, man. Rod shell, max speed. Oh, this, the, mo the movement speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you mean surge. It, isn't that called surge, the move speed? Yeah. Lots of localized damage, lots of move speed. I like it. I like it. He's kind of a hero that... Uh, Darkseer is a hero that really uh, bemused me. I find him interesting. He seems fun to be good at. Hey, it's Jerax. Jerax on the Smurf. and without hammer not a complete hero i mean it felt fine to me i think shard could have been useful to be invisible in a game where people are in a slightly like more comfy position so for instance when i said that luna or drow could go top left i would have like i would have protected for them and let them farm top did you see how much top did like every time i pushed out top enemies just straight up didn't go for it they were just death balling and that's the kind of fight we don't want to take too often. We want to take one good fight. Uh, we don't have enough sustain in frontline because, well, you see, it's four backline, right? And I'm not a tanky frontline. So we actually wanted to play this one more tactical, more macro. Let's just say our draft sucked, actually. Like, it really sucked, okay? So we could do more side laning and just play macro and vision play rotationally, but not every team can do that. And uh, you saw that just like me pushing out top got like almost a whole tower. But in the same time, we'll also have three moments, including me, where we run into a fight thinking maybe we can have an even fight. We can't. So that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's just playing from behind and it's hard. I mean, very recently I was Herald myself. And I may not have known how to do it either. <laughs> you know, you see, like, unranked and... Uh... <laughs> I mean, I, what can you say? I mean, I had, like... Uh, I probably had some Herald allies, no? Uncalibrated. Yeah, I had a lot of fun the first 10 minutes, and the next 20 were also fun, even though we had no chance. What's the problem with the draft? So, I'm no expert at draft analysis, yeah? but we're very squishy, so we're vulnerable to Juggernaut Omni Slash, during which time we can't hit him back, but you know, you can kind of help with Lotus. And then we have uh, basically three supports, Treant, Bane, and Jakiro. Then we do have two good auto attackers, which always helps a lot. But then Sniper, he, he outranges us by a lot. And because we don't have a dive team, it's kind of hard to get on top of him. Uh, we could blink like on top of him and try to delete him, but we're super squishy. And then 
Enge hard engaging into Putch and Darkseer maybe feels a little hard. They have an Impale, they have uh, the Portal with the copies, they have the Wrath, he's quite tanky. So like, if we want to play a fight without Sniper murdering us, and he ha kind of had a good game, he had good farm, then uh, we have to jump Sniper, and our team doesn't do that that well. It would have to be like a rotational engage, if you know what I mean, like a surprise engage, rather than a front to back. So, like, yeah, you can win any draft, I think. But in front to back, they were better. They have two frontliners. Darkseer is kind of a half frontliner, and we only have one. Luna was a newbie, probably only has 100 games. I mean, it was 5,600, but like, yeah, it was, uh, we all have our weaknesses. You always assume someone will pick Sniper in ranked. Yeah, this was unranked. But honestly, I think Sniper is one of the best bans you could do in Herald 5, maybe even in Guardian 1. 